So let's talk about the list function. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in uh, connection with listifying strings. So it's just this, the list function. And you can think of it as casting, right? We're just casting in the same way that we, we might cast um, the number 32 to a string. We might do that. Uh, but in this case, we're going to cast a string into a list. And it shouldn't be too surprising what this does. String um, A, this is a string here, and let's just listify the string. And I'll just print it. So if I run this, notice this uh, takes every character and makes it a single element in the list. And you know you might be asking yourself, well, what's what's the utility of this? And I'm just going to cryptically say you'll find out. Um, you don't need to uh, to listify a string in order to run a for loop on it, right? You know you could. Uh, so I'll run this. Um, And notice we get, it goes a little off screen there, I believe, but notice we get this, um, you know, we get on a single, a, a single line the output of each character from that list. But we can just do the same thing by iterating over the string without turning it into a list. So, well, um, you know, there's the same exact thing. But I'm going to make a case for listifying a string as well. Let's replace um, let's replace a given index, and I will write a function that does that. So let's call this uh, def replace at index. Um, need underscores replace at index. And we're going to take in a string, and we're going to take in an index. So, um, and this, uh, you know, to be clear, this isn't the only way to do this, but I'm going to show you a way to do this where you use the list function. So uh, let's just call this string list, and it's going to get list of string. So that gives us our listified string. And then we can say, um, you know, string list sub index gets something, right? So uh, in this case, maybe we want another parameter, um, and we'll call that um, replace with. Uh, it's not a great name, but that's okay. Um, replace with. And then, um, actually, let, let's call this... Uh, uh, replace letter just to have just to you know be clear about what we're doing here and then we can just return the joined string list and you know remember strings are immutable right so this is a way to get around the immutability of a string uh, and replace a letter in it. Again, it's not the only, only way. You could use string slicing. Um, there's so many ways that you could go about doing this. This is just one way. So let's say, uh, let's replace at index, let's replace something in string at index 6, and let's make it a, um, an O. And if I run this, I need to print it. So let me print it. If I run this, hey, toys is a string here. So I replaced the H with an O. Um, there's, there's different reasons you might listify a string. Uh, just know that you can do it and know that this is what list uh, of a string does.